So what is your favorite movie and why? You know, I I love movies. Man, it's like living a thousand lives in 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 one lifetime when you get to to watch some really really good movies and I'm a huge fan of true life um movies where someone can um, has to overcome an obstacle or you know against all the odds they rise above and transcend it and those movies are very very inspiring for me and I absolutely love them and this morning I was just thinking about some of my most favorite movies um, and I was thinking if I have to choose I mean, there's just so many you, you just can't choose but some of them are like uh, The Green Mile um, uh, you know I love that movie of uh, Brian Banks now that was based uh, on, on, on a life story of a guy who was falsely accused of rape and then um, how he just, you know, transcended that and got out. And while he was in jail, someone gave him a book uh, and the book was called As a Man Thinketh. And why I love that movie so much is, is that even if he was in jail and he was falsely accused, uh, his advisor in jail told him that no one can actually take away your freedom the only thing that takes away your freedom is the way you think uh, that is why I love that mo movie so much then there's a movie called True Spirit um, and this is about uh, Jessica Watson who went on this uh, mission to to sail across the world and she was only 16 when she did that I was I was so inspired by that movie I watched it four times I watched it by myself, I watched it with my husband, I watched it with my children, and I tell you what, I watch it again, because it just moved me so much. I'm just thinking, you know, um, uh, how I admire this woman, Jessica Watson, because she uh, she was all alone on this little sailboat for over seven months. And, you know, just sometimes being alone at home is a bit frightening for me. Can you imagine sailing across the world all by yourself in the middle of the big ocean? I mean, yo, Jessica Watson has inspired me so much to just go beyond my tiny little minute fears. Because if she can sail around the world in a tiny little sailboat, I can get up in the morning and face my day. <laughs> so thank you Jessica I really love these movies and then sometimes I just love movies that is like my children are always teasing me like mom not another Christmas movie <laughs> or one of these rom-coms I do love them and one of my favorite favorite rom-coms is uh, it's the the last holiday um, and, and, and Queen Latif is in it and why I love this movie so much is because it just uplifts my spirit and you know it's one of those movies that you can just watch over and over again because it just makes you feel so good and here again what i love about the story in this movie is how she was you know working and never really enjoying her life she was um uh, cooking the most amazing dishes every night but not eating it okay just cooking it and she had all these dreams and she had this book you know, her book of possibilities. And this the whole movie is about her finally actually becoming the book, you know, living everything that she put into the book. Um, and I think we so often do it. We say, you know, when we have the money, we're going to do this. When I release the weight, I'm going to buy that dress. When, you know, I have reached this goal, I will allow myself this. And And here's the thing. She was giving this death sentence, they made a mistake or something, and then she was going to die. And then she went out and she just like took all the money she saved and she went to go really live, live her life. Enjoy the foods that she never got to eat, put on the clothes that she never bought for herself. Um, and in this process of really living and enjoying herself and letting go, completely letting go, you know, more and more abundance actually manifested into her life. And she then eventually uh, created her own little restaurant. And um, what a beautiful feel-good love story. But the moral of the story is live now, you know, and live fearlessly. And give yourself what your heart desire now. Most of these books and movies that I so love, is all about, you know what, just 
just do it now live this life now have some fun now you know and overcome fear and then back to brian banks it's all here in your mind your own only jail the only thing that takes your freedom away is your thoughts hmm. so what is your favorite movie and why maybe you guys can uh, give me some movies that i can go and enjoy and maybe you will like these ones brian banks true spirit last holiday oh but there's so many more so you know um i'll share some more in the future because i just love watching movies life is a movie and you are the main character the superstar in your movie so make sure that today you do something fun something to celebrate you